you can make a whispering voice in Elven Labs. And this is one example that I just created. Have a listen. Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. So today I'll show you how you can achieve the whispering voice in Elven Labs. But before I start, there is one thing here that you need to know. Right now, when I'm recording this video, there are two new models in Eleven Last, which is version 2 and version 3. And the way to achieve whispering voice in version 2 and version 3 is very different. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you, version 3 is way better and much more consistent. So if you're using that model, then you can just skip over this video and watch the section where I explain how you can achieve that on that model. But if you're using the uh, version 2, then you can watch this video. Now, how do you achieve that if you are using version 2? Well, I read some blog posts, I read some forums, I watched some YouTube videos about how to achieve the whispering voice in version 2. And so far, I would say they are not consistent, and in my case, they never work. So what they, what people mostly recommend is actually by adding a keyword inside of parentheses like whispering, and then you can also add some sort of pause. So in Eleven Labs, you can add a pause by adding three dots or maybe a dash like this. But I think three dots is much more consistent. Actually, it's going to work much, much often than using a desk. And basically, by changing the structure or adding this section into the script will hopefully make the character or make the voice to be whispering. But again, it never worked for me. Uh, some people say it worked, but for me, it never worked. So this is one example. Whispering. Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. So it doesn't work. And for me, I will never use this method because it never worked for me. But if you are insisting to be using the version 2 in Eleven Labs and you want to make the voice to be whispering, then the only logical way, the only way that is consistent is by actually using a voice that is naturally soft-spoken and or whispering. So you can click the voice section right here and you can search using the keyword like whisper or maybe AS. MR and you see some keywords, sorry, some results where the voices are actually calm, gentle, soft, etc. And you can use it to make the voice to be whispering. Let's try this one. Okay, it is French, but can I use it for English? Okay, I'm not sure about that. Let's try English. Okay, let's try the okay, there is ASMR, then a smooth talker, French. Okay, stable whisper voice. Okay, there's this one, stable, not stable. Let's try that. Add to my voice. And now we can use that professional voice. And remember, this is professional voice, so it's going to be a bit more expensive than the regular voice, but that's okay for now. So after that, I'm going to be using just the default setting, and I'll try to generate speech using that model or using that voice. There. The floor is slippery. Okay, let's play it one be more time. Careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. So yeah, that's the only logical way for making the voice to be whispering in version 2. Now, how about version 3? This is where you can be more flexible. You can use any voice. It doesn't have to be the voice that is specialized for ASMR or whispering. You can use pretty much any voice. Actually, not any voice because right now, uh, Elven Labs recommends only specific voices that can use version 3. But anyway, let's just switch to version 3. And here, uh, there is this label for best voices for version 3. And I do recommend to use the voices in that label. You can use other voices, but let's say the results are not very good. And, you know, I version 3 is still in alpha, so I do recommend to just follow the guidelines for the best result. Okay, here, I'll try using Jessica. And what I like about version 3 is there aren't many settings. There's only stability, and even that, you can leave it as default. And here, to make this character, to make this voice to be whispering, you just need to add a, a tag that looks like this. Open square bracket, and then whispering, or whispers, and then close square bracket. And that keyword, that tag, is becoming purple like this. So that means this section of the word will be spoken with the whispering voice. Now, the position is very important. If you put this let's say in the middle of the sentence like maybe in this section 
then only this uh, section of the sentence that will whisper. The rest will be normal. So let's do one quick demonstration. Okay, it takes a bit longer. Careful on the okay. way there. The floor is slippery. Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. So yeah, that's why it is still in alpha because uh, technically it should be only this section, but apparently from these two generations, uh, all of the, of the sentences are actually whispering. So that could happen. And that's one thing to know when you're working with the alpha version of version three. If you're not quite happy, you can always regenerate speech and hopefully on the next generation, it will actually follow the guideline or follow the prompt. Be careful okay. on the way there. The floor is slippery. Okay, that's good. So the first section is normal and then the second section is whispering. Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. So yeah, that's really good. And of course you can add as many uh, tags as possible. It, it's really up to you. You are the director of the scene. So you can add, let's say, uh, love and then suddenly she is whispering. It is also possible. So that's the power of version 3 and that feature doesn't exist on the previous model. <laughs> Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. Be careful on the way there. The floor is slippery. Yeah, it's not quite consistent and it's actually recommended by Elven Labs to not suddenly change the emotion in one short sentence. And this is actually not the best practice, but I'm doing this just to give you a one example of possibility that you can do with version 3 in Eleven Labs. So that's exactly how you can make any voice, uh, actually not any voice, most voices in Eleven Labs to be whispering naturally like human would do in just uh, by just adding this simple type. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.